Learn and play online. Simplifying fractions. When we simplify fractions, that just means that we are representing a fraction in the simplest form possible. We don't want to deal with larger numbers unnecessarily. For example, why say 300 over 600 when we can just say half? Or 25 over 100 when it can be simplified and represented as a quarter? In order to simplify fractions, it would definitely help to know your multiplication and division facts. This is because we need to divide both the numerator and the denominator by what we call the highest common factor, or otherwise also known as the greatest common factor. Let's explore some examples so you have a better understanding of this. If we are trying to simplify the fraction 12 over 16, we need to find the highest common factor. The factors for the numerator 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. The factors for the denominator 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Looking at the list of factors, we can see that the highest common factor is the number 4. Now that we've identified the highest common factor, we need to divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 12 over 16 is simplified to 3 quarters. Let's do another example. This time we are simplifying 10 over 25. Let's first list out the factors for both the numerator and the denominator so we can find the highest common factor. The factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5 and 10. The factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. We can see that the highest common factor is the number 5. Now that we know the highest common factor, the next step is to divide both the numerator and denominator by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 10 over 25 when simplified is 2 over 5 or 2 fifths. Let's recap the method we used in this video to simplify fractions. First, we list the factors for both the numerator and the denominator. The second step is to identify the highest common factor. Next, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by the highest common factor. Once you've completed all of these steps, you have simplified the original fraction you started with. Now it's your turn. Put into practice what you have learned and try simplifying the fractions below. There will be a one minute timer, so make sure you pause the video to give yourself as much time as you need. That way the answers will only be revealed when you are ready. Good luck! Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.